every year, more than 1.7 million women are affected worldwide. A diagnosis can be devastating, breast cancer. The disease is the most common cancer among women. According to the World Health Organization, 450,000 women die from the disease every year. But even when a tumor is successfully removed, the uneasy question remains, is it coming back? The Dutch researcher Laura Johanna van Tver hopes to find an answer. Currently, reoccurrence of breast cancer are being prevented by chemotherapy. But the question is whether every woman with breast cancer actually needs chemotherapy. And also, can we better predict, based on tumors themselves, whether chemotherapy is actually even necessary? When Van Fair started her research in 1993, she was studying a new method that would increase the accuracy of diagnosis. My colleagues and I, including molecular biologist René Bernard, decided to take tissues from women who were diagnosed with cancer. We selected some tissue from those who later went into remission and from those who did not. Then we looked into the activity of the respective tumorous genes, and we did this in the hopes that we could learn more about the risk of Occurrence. For the past few decades, three main criteria have served as the basis for cancer treatment. The age of the patient, the pathology, and the number of dividing cancer cells. Van Tver and her team, on the other hand, looked at the genes in the tumors themselves for indicators. According to the analysis of numerous tumor samples, they made a crucial discovery. We discovered that we could identify a gene activity pattern in the tumors that would allow us to distinguish high-risk cases from low-risk ones. So actually, there are 70 genes active in these tumors, and we can actually learn the risk of reoccurrence by simply noting whether these genes are switched on or switched off. She developed a new method called the MAMMA-PRINT test. This test has the ability to check the activities of thousands of different genes at the same time, including the approximately 70 cancer-specific genes. You can compare the activity of genes that are either switched on or switched off. If the gene is switched on, the tumor is very aggressive. It invades the surrounding tissue, travels through the body, and can give rise to metastases in another organ. If those 70 genes are switched off, then the tumor will remain in its place and there is not much risk of reoccurrence. This theory was confirmed through years of research. In 2003, the test was brought onto the market. So the mama print test is in start on The mama print test can better predict which breast cancer patient has a risk of reoccurrence and it helps to guide the choice to give somebody chemotherapy. Because you only want to give chemotherapy when it's really needed, when there is a risk of reoccurrence, and not when the risk is negligible. A patient who is not likely to suffer from a reoccurrence would only suffer needlessly from the side effects, which include lethargy and loss of hair. To illustrate the point, Van Tver compares choosing the right cancer treatment method to stains on fabrics. While, for example, a drop of yogurt can easily be removed with a little water, you have to use a stronger cleaner for stubborn stains. In a way, it's like this in cancer treatment as well, which means that now, in many cases, patients can be spared the rigors of chemotherapy. Using the mama print in clinical practice allows us to reduce the number of women who have to go through chemotherapy 
by about 20 to 30 percent. This gives me a really, really good feeling because we can save these women from so many adverse side effects. The process she developed has led to further success. In 2004, Fantfair founded the company Agendia, which is based in both Amsterdam and California. Agendia is now one of the world's 14 leading molecular diagnostics companies. The mama print test was introduced in the Netherlands, where it was invented. And now, of course, it is widely used across Europe, in North America, South America and Asia. 40,000 women have already been administered this test as part of the diagnosis and treatment planning. For her successful cancer research, Laura Johanna van Tver has now been nominated for the European Inventor Award, which is being presented this year for the tenth time. I'm very proud that I have been nominated, and I'm most pleased because I think there's so much we can do to improve the treatment of breast cancer. The attention the invention is going to get by being nominated, I think, will provide more patients access to vital information and will, of course, be of help when planning their most optimal treatments. At the Paris ceremony this coming June, we will see if she takes home the coveted award.